Long White Line is an old song. It was written by Buford Abner, covered by a number of people over the years. Aaron Tippin did a version, and we're going to look at Sturgill Simpson's version. It was one of only two songs on Meta Modern Sounds and country music that he did not write. And his guitar player at the time, Laura Jomet, is really a fantastic player, one of the top country pickers out there right now, and he just packed this with really great guitar work. Uh, and not just the solo, but the whole thing is just a great example of how we can really fill up the sound with rhythm comping on the electric guitar and squeeze in just really tasteful riffs here and there. And he does a lot of uniquely phrased country riffs and pedal steel riffs and that kind of thing. And then over the solo on the record, he used a slide and there's even some slide harmony that we're going to look at. And on the acoustic, not even just on the acoustic, just in general, Sturgill Simpson's no slouch either. He is a very good picker himself and he's doing the acoustic part on this song and he throws in a couple really nice um, sections where we're going to take a look at some acoustic solos too. <laughs> acoustic guitar part up into two different tutorial videos. In this tutorial we're going to look at the strumming and then in the next tutorial we'll look at all the acoustic lead work. So to start let's get a capo on the second fret and get our fingers on these chords. We're going to start with a standard E chord here. That's open low E string, second fret of A, second fret of D, first fret of G, open B, open high E. And then let's get our fingers on a B7. And that's nothing on the low E string. We're gonna have the second fret of A, first fret of D, second fret of G, open B, and then it's the second fret of high E. But a lot of times, if we were just doing one of the quick passes, you can just focus on these middle strings, and if you can't get your pinky down in time, don't worry about that high E second fret. You can just focus on these middle strings. But when we're sitting there for a little longer, you know you can get that pinky down add a little more color in there. Then the only other chord we're going to need is this A major chord when we get to the choruses. The song starts with this repeating pattern and then we stop and then we do the pattern again and then we stop uh, four or five times. You know, it looks like this. And that repeats. And once we learn that, there are two parts in the song where you can hear Sturgill Simpson playing some acoustic lead work. Uh, and the first one is over that bridge solo. It happens right when the bridge solo starts. Um, there's a little back and forth going on between Lauer and Sturgill. So we're going to learn that first, and then we're going to learn what we hear at the end in the outro. There's some pretty clear acoustic picking there too. So first one comes in right at the beginning of that bridge solo and looks like this. This is all tabbed out right beneath the video player at sixstringcountry.com, this whole lesson. Okay, so here we go. Um, right at the top of the bridge solo. Two, three, go. One, two, 
three, go. Pull up the tabs right beneath the video player at sixstringcountry.com and we're going to read the tabs down here nice and slow then at the end we'll play through the different sections at full speed. Let's talk about tone. It's kind of a trebly tone. We've got it on uh, the bridge pickup here. Kind of a little slap back delay going on and just a little bit of uh, overdrive or natural tube kind of overdrive sound, right? Maybe just a little bit of reverb. Um, something like that, okay? So let's dive right in and let's learn this intro. And before we even do that, I'm going to teach you what I just played, because this is something that we're going to play all the time in this song. Uh, we're going to keep coming back to this. Right, and then we do some of these riffs in between. Uh, so let's get our fingers on an F sharp bar chord. One of the things that contributes to this being an advanced lesson is that we're playing an F sharp. F sharp blues, really. Um, which is not a key that we play in all the time. And uh, Lauer does not use a capo here. So we're gonna put our pointer finger over this whole second fret. And then we've got fourth fret, fourth fret, second fret, third fret, excuse me. Okay, so F sharp major bar chord here. And all we're doing is we're going down on just these low strings, really just this low E string, and then a, kind of a muted, it's kind of half muted in there. So we're going down, chunk, chunk with the down up. And then we're aiming at this A string and we're hammering on really, you're aiming at just that A string, but you can do it with all your fingers and just hammer on all of the rest of the bar for that second one. So down, chunk, chunk, down, hammer on, chunk, chunk. And then we're just gonna keep repeating that over and over. So let's look at that nice and slow. Okay, two, three, go. It's all tabbed out. The tabs will really be helpful here. So pull up the tabs beneath the video player at sixstringcountry.com and get a slide on. I, uh, I prefer playing slide on a guitar with a little higher action. This Les Paul is set up for slide, which is why I switched guitars. Uh, if, I was playing it on my telly that has very low action, which I like for the picking stuff. It would be frustrating because you'd always be getting that kind of fret buzz. It's hard to keep the slide off the frets. So uh, get a guitar, preferably with some higher action, dial up a nice slide tone with some sustain, so maybe a little compression, a little delay, a little reverb, although there's not a ton of uh, delay and reverb on, on the recording. Uh, but just enough to get you a, a little bit of gain too, just enough to get you that nice sustain that you want when you're playing with the slide, okay? Uh, so here we go. I'll demonstrate the solo, then we'll go over it uh, riff by riff. Two, three, four.